In this short UV Pack Master tutorial, I am going to present to you a new option which was recently added to the Groups to Tiles mode, Pack to Single Box. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you're already familiar with the Groups to Tile mode, but if you're not, then I highly recommend you go watch the first general tutorial on the Groups to Tile mode, and there is a link in the description to that. All right, let's get started. To show you how the new pack to tile option works, I prepared an example blend file, okay? Now I've already switched it to the groups to tile mode. Now down here, we can see that all the UVs are into five groups. Now in previous tutorials, show group assignment, and this shows you which UV meshes are assigned to which group. In the first step, I'm going to pack all four groups to a single tile grid, two by two. So for that, I'm going to set the group layout mode to tile grid, and then set the tile count on both axes to two. Now let's press pack. Now all five groups were packed into the tile grid as expected. Now, when I press show group assignment, you can see in the tile grid mode, groups are packed without any specific constraints. So UVs belong to the same group, maybe packed into different tiles. So pretty much anywhere the packer sees a place for them, that's where they're gonna go. So for an example, the N group was packed into this tile, but it was also packed into that tile and that one. And also the I group was packed into this tile and this tile. In fact, the B group was packed into all four tiles. Now I'm gonna show you how you can change this behavior by using the pack to single box option. So I'm going to enable this option in the group scheme option. So let's just go boop. And then from here, we're gonna press pack once again. And now let me just quickly show groups assignments. And look at that. So what the pack to single box option does is as the name suggests, it adds a constraint that every group has to be entirely packed into a single box. One of the boxes configured for the group, but, and also different groups may be packed into the same box, but that's if the packer sees there's enough room. Now that was a case for the AR and the I groups. They were packed into the same box, and also the body and the end groups were packed together simply because the packer detected there was enough room for both of them in the same tile. Now, a nice little feature of the pack to single box option is that it can override a per group basis. This fact can be realized on an interesting technique of so-called filler groups. Now, let me show you. I wanna select group B and then I wanna select override global options and then an additional UI has just been shown, okay? Now I'm going to enable the overwrite single box down here. And at the same time, I've left the pack to single box checkbox unticked. So pretty much what we're doing is I'm overriding the option for the B group and the result of overriding is keeping the option disabled. Yes. So to sum it up, now all groups will be packed with the pack to single box option enabled because I have this option enabled globally, except group B for which this option is disabled. All right, so let's press pack and then we'll click show group assignment. Now, as you can see, the result is that all the groups being packed into a single tile, except the last B group, which was used to cover the unused UV space in all four tiles. So in that example, the B group was used as a filler group, kind of like a group that fills all the unused space. But you can also use the opposite approach. You can disable the pack to single box globally and enable it for specific groups by overriding this option. So let's just have a quick look. Now I'm going to disable it globally. There we go. And now I'm going to enable it only for the body. So let's go body, override, other options, pack to single box, and let's do it for the eye. There we go. Override global options, other options, pack to single box. And then up the top we go pack. Once again, come down, show group assignment. As you can see, we forced the eye and body groups to be packed into a single box. All the other groups didn't have such a constraint, so they'll be packed into many distinct boxes. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you want, turn the bell notification on, you know, to keep up to date with any other videos coming out. Um, and also, if you need more information, check the links in the description.